Hey Fight Fans, welcome back to Greatest Hits here on Boxing Legends TV. Today, we'll be taking a look at the 1990s fighter of the decade and former Olympic silver medalist, Roy Jones Jr. Candy touch, candy spot, candy candy rock, candy show, we turned pro on May 6, 1989, just a few months after his Olympic efforts. He faced off with Ricky Randall at the Civic Center in Pensacola, Florida. April 3rd. Roy had already racked up 16 wins, all by way of knockout, and was ready to square off with Art Serwano in Reno, Nevada. Well, be my commands, protect yourselves at all times. Touch buds now, let's get to him. Or was it Fenway Park? And he lost on a 3-2 decision at the Olympic Award. Roy started fast, and after just a few seconds, it was apparent that Serwano would be lucky to make it to round two. And that's when Roy landed the punch that would later be remembered as the Exorcism of Sir Roy. May 22, 1993, Roy faced off with Bernard Hopkins for the vacant IBF middleweight title at the RFK Stadium in Washington, D.C. Both men had built up impressive winning streaks, Jones being undefeated in his 21 bouts, and Hopkins on a 22-fight win streak since a loss in his pro hey, debut. Touch him. Touch him up, guys. Come on. God bless. Let's rock. Time to become Philadelphia's first middleweight champion ever. Would you believe it? He's gaining confidence, but maybe he loses some after that right hand by Jones. Hopkins is one. Spent four years in prison doing hard time for a chain snatching. Good combination by Roy Jones. Right hand, left hook, and there's another left hook, right hand. Right hand landed inside for Jones. Again. Again, an unorthodox punch, Jim. I mean, these are combinations I've never seen before. After a closely contested fight, the decision was left to the judges at ringside. To 112 for the winner by unanimous decision, and now the IBF middleweight champion of the world, Roy Jones Jr. November. Roy faced off with rising star James Tony at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, Nevada. The fight was being built up as the best middleweight fight of the 90s, with Jones being undefeated in his 26 fights and Tony undefeated in his first 46 bouts. Someone's O had to go. There's a quick right hand by Jones, and it looked okay there. Couple of body shots by Jones. He's not protecting his shoot. He got it up there, though. 
Tony hasn't found many openings. And there was the quickness of Jones again. He made Tony miss and nailed him with two of those unorthodox punches. They come from all angles. Right. Roy started off better, throwing fast combinations and leaping left hooks in the opening rounds. And then, in round three, he scored the first and only knockdown in the fight. Showboating by Jones. The attempt fate, I think. Left hook, and down goes Tony. You know, his seat never hit the, hit the canvas. But they're going to call it a knockdown anyway. Being completely outsped in this fight so far. Jones looks fast against everybody. But he certainly looked faster against Tony than some might have suspected. Roy continued to dominate the fight, landing unorthodox punches from angles so unusual and unprecedented that even a defensive master like James Tony could do nothing about it. September 30th, 1995. Jones defended his IBF crown against rugged tough man Tony Thornton in his hometown of Pensacola, Florida. Protect yourself at all times. Shake hands. Come out boxing at the belt. Hard left hook by Jones. Thornton protecting himself as Roy tries to come with another left hook. Roy getting fancy as he bulldog punches with the right hand. Roy was having a punch perfect performance in the first two rounds, and just on the bell, he landed a leaping left hook. It was before the bell. It was before the bell. Gordon gets up easily. Can't punch back. Mark Tony's got a fire. Utterly destroying an opponent who had never previously been knocked out in a 44 fight professional career. And that looks like about a 44 punch combination. October. Jones faced 16-0 unbeaten prospect Brian Brannon in Madison Square Gardens, and Brannon made his intentions known as soon as the first bell rang. You see the muscles bulging as he races across the ring and launches a wild right to the body, and Roy Jones stands in a peekaboo as Brian Brannon throws about eight wing punches in a row. Although Brannon started explosively, it was clear that it had little effect on Jones, who simply sucked it up and then unleashed his own punches. Again, Brandon having trouble for the moment, staying on his feet, lifted, watching closely. Jones blinding Brandon with his overwhelming hand speed. They were so psyched for the possibility of Brian putting up a big fight against Roy Jones. Jones felt Brandon had taken enough punishment and that the ref should have stopped the fight. But Jones was told to continue, and so he did. And then Jones says, look, you want more? Okay. A convincing case. Oh, I'm with you. November 22, 1996. Just one month after his KO over Brian Brandon, Jones decided it was time to move up from 
from super middleweight to light heavyweight, and he challenged the three-weight world champion and respected 175-pounder Mike the Body Snatcher McCallum for the WBC interim title. This boy can make you pay. Roy Jones can make you pay for dropping your hand. As he just did there with a counter right over the top of McCallum's jab. Certainly McCallum is following his fight plan. Roy Jones lands a right cross. McCallum takes it pretty well. Jones looked just as sharp and fast as he did at his previous weight and won a complete shutout on the judges' scorecards in a 12-round unanimous decision. March 21, 1997, Jones faced undefeated WBC light heavyweight champion Montel Griffin at the Taj Mahal Casino in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Despite Roy scoring a knockdown in round 7, the judges rightfully had the fight even on the scorecards, and in round 9, Jones would lose his first fight in 35 due to what appeared to be an act of desperation or perhaps just a mistake in the moment. going to be disqualified and will lose his title. The Jersey State Commissioner well, I don't think Larry they have any other choice. The they have no choice. Can they overrule the referee? Uh August 7, 1997, Jones got his rematch against Montel Griffin and would silence critics as he scored a first round knockout to win the WBC Light Heavyweight Championship. With 50 seconds to go in round number one. Huge round for Roy Jones so far. Roy Jones is playing the fainting game and Griffin is benefiting by it. Oh, what a left hook. What a left hook. Second knockdown of the round. That was a leaping left hook and Griffin may not survive it. He's got via a first round knockout. April 20... Jones faced arguably the greatest light heavyweight from the previous 10 years, Virgil Hill, who had made 22 title defenses at 175 pounds. The opening rounds were tentative, but Jones appeared to be getting the better of his man, and then in round 4, Jones would land a body shot that is still regarded today as one of the most brutal punches ever landed, breaking multiple ribs. Virgil's making it difficult for him. Oh, so that great is a shot. big shot by Jones! And a terrific shot. Hill may not be able to get up. He, he's acting as if he broke the rib. What a titanic shot by Roy know. Jones Jr. And no. That's it. One shot to the ribs. Mike, look at him. He's still slumping down. What a shot. What a bomb by Roy Jones. And a guy that has not put fighters away with the right hand or with the one punch. We've seen the left hand all the way. And that is a new way for Roy Jones to end a fight. And that is just dynamic that that's you learn something every time you see this man get in the ring you wonder how his punches would do to the chins of heavyweight that punch drops anybody in any division march 1st
other way. Turn another way. Turn to that shoulder up front. Three. 2003. Jones would make the leap from light heavy all the way up to heavyweight, taking on WBA world champion John Ruiz, who had won his title from the great Evander Holyfield just a year prior. He's the best fighter in the world today, and he makes it look easy. But he's never been hit by a heavy light. So when Roy Jones Jr. steps up to the ultimate division, when he takes on heavyweight champ John Ruiz... He better be ready, or he's gonna learn they don't call him heavyweights for nothing. I tell you to break, I want you to break. Step up. Let's go to work. Right hand over the top by Jones. Already, Jay Nady has been very active. When you can see Jones have that much time, nothing Solid left hook. And Ruiz comes back with his own left hook and lands the first big right hand. And Jones lands the left in return. And they're fighting in the center of the ring. Despite Jones suffering a 33-pound weight disadvantage, he had little problem in the fight and won a 12-round unanimous decision. Chris Tadulu sees the mount 118 to 110. All three in favor of the winner. Joining boxing's elite, the new WBA heavyweight champion of the world, Roy Jones Jr. This would be Roy Jones' last graceful victory. Despite moving. Discombobulate, confuse Hagler, hit him some shots to get his respect and get the crowd on his side. Lose himself on Ray and show who's boss. Fight that we all did. Hagler things to think about. Keep the left shoulder up front. Keep the left shoulder up front. Jumping in, man, step in. Enjoy chopping step. Take a deep, brother. Take a chop. Wait, go with the right hand. Another left hand in the face of Bonds by Sugar Ray Leonard. The flicking right jab is harmless. Back the other way. Three four punches to the face now. Larry Bonds. Right above us once more. A right hand and another right. The left hand and Bonds goes down. Well, he has Bonds' hands down around his waist. Bonds tries to fight back. Bonds is hurt now. Doubles up in the corner. First talk to him by Tom Johnson and that nappy, our Olympic. Questioning and Sugar Ray has in a sportsman-like way refrained from going after. The right lead, the left and the right, and Gonzalez is down again. The referee has stopped the contest. It is over in the very first round. That'll get him.
again, landed on the ropes. Not a lot of damage in that last exchange.
Leonard now tries to fight off the ropes. Combinations of punches. And now it's Hagler who backs off.
Bob and Hagler's corner wants Ray Leonard on the ropes. Ray Leonard corner wants Ray Leonard off the ropes. It's a good left hand by Hagler. Hagler's punches, even though they haven't been. Leonard tried to fight off the ropes and does. other neither one giving an itch Yeah. 
이렇게 뒤로 와. 이렇게 뒤로 와. 그냥 어떻게 이거? 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 
113. By the winner, by a split decision, 